there are three things that you gotta do. Number one is you gotta have a system for your money. I talk a lot about a 75, 15, 10 plan. This is the very easy way to get started, which says for every dollar that you earn from here on out, 75 cents is the maximum that you can spend, 15 cents is the minimum that you invest, 10 cents is the minimum that you save. And this is where you wanna create three different bank accounts. One bank account for your spending money, one bank account for the money that's gonna be invested, and one bank account for the money that's gonna be saved for emergencies. And the reason why you wanna have three different bank accounts is so you do not accidentally spend your investment money on a TV, and so you don't accidentally spend your savings money on a new vacation. These are three different bank accounts for three different purposes. Your spending money is what you pay for your rent or your mortgage, how you pay for your groceries, how you pay for your vacations, how you buy your clothes, how you do all of that. Your investment money is what you're gonna to use to buy stocks invest in real estate, invest in a business idea, maybe pay down your lower interest rate debts, and your savings money is there to protect you against an emergency in case you lose your job, in case your kid breaks their arm, in case your car breaks down. If something bad happens, you have cash to fall back on so you don't have to go deeper into credit card debt. And on that point, I do wanna make a little caveat here that if you have credit card debt, before you go and do all this, pay off your credit card debt. If you have credit card debt, if you don't have $2,000 saved up, you are in what I call the financial danger zone. And right now, your focus needs to be saving $2,000 as fast as possible, paying off the credit card debt as fast as possible, because that's skinning you alive. So before you do any of this, before you worry about investing your money, pay off the credit card debt. And what I like to say is if you have credit card debt, you cannot afford a Netflix subscription. Why? Well, it's not because it costs $15 a month. It's because if you have credit card debt, how can you sit there, feel comfortable watching TV at night, knowing that you gotta pay 25% interest to the credit card company? You should not be doing that. Instead, spend that time learning, spend that time earning, spend that time figuring out how you can pay off the debt, earning more money, and building your wealth. Once you figure out how to budget your money, how to systemize your money, or something like a 75, 15, 10 plan. The second thing is no more financing. When you have this money that you can spend, many people assume that I can afford a $1,000 phone because I can make the $100 a month payments, and that's not true. If you really wanna build wealth, you gotta stop paying interest on things that don't make you any money. It's very common in our society today. American society makes it very normal, very common, and very easy to go into debt. Nowadays, you can check out anything on the internet and right on the checkout page you're gonna have the buy now pay later option you want to buy that gucci now you can have it just worry about the price later you want to buy your groceries now fine worry about the price later it is a very toxic very financially toxic habit that is keeping so many people broke and if you really want to live free imagine a life where you don't have a car payment you don't have a credit card payment you don't have a student loan payment and now you can start to imagine, well, if you're earning the same amount of money and your money's not all going out, you can do a lot more things and you can have a lot more investments and have a lot more freedom and have a lot less stress. And in order to do that, you gotta stop the bleeding, you gotta stop the spending, you gotta stop giving your money out to other people that you cannot afford. So no more financing things, no more 0% APR. If it does not put money in your pocket, do not finance it. Period. The only exception to this is your house. Don't finance your car either. You're gonna live a completely different life when you no longer have a car payment. It's gonna give you the sense of freedom that you never knew was possible. And if you don't have the car payment, you'll probably be driving a cheaper car, which also means you might not have to worry about the premium gas. You might not have to worry about the expensive insurance. You might not have to worry about the expensive oil changes. And now all of a sudden you got a whole new sense of freedom and a whole lot of extra money that you can use to invest into things that will actually make you money. Get rich first before you make BMW rich. And number three, the rule of five. I don't care if you buy luxuries. I don't care if you buy expensive things. People assume that I say you should not have nice things, that I say you should not have the Gucci or the Louis Vuitton. I don't care for Gucci. I don't care for Louis Vuitton. If you like it, great. What I want is I want you to be able to afford luxuries. There are certain luxuries that I do like, okay? I like when I go and travel that I stay in nicer hotels. I like certain things. They're just not the clothes that I wear. But the key is I want you to be able to afford your luxuries. And one of the rules that I like to follow for luxury things, I don't put any money in my pocket, is a rule of five, which says if I cannot buy five of them, I cannot afford one of them. This simple rule will allow me to be a little bit smarter with the way that I spend my money. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.